Hello friends, welcome back once again to my video tutorial. This is Lipsa again with you. So friend, today I am going to describe how we can add external jar file to a Java project in IntelliJ IDEA. So for this, let me open my IntelliJ IDEA. Let me open my IntelliJ IDEA quickly. So this is the IntelliJ IDEA community edition. I am going to open. So this is my IntelliJ IDEA community edition 2023. Let it open. Then we create a project from scratch in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay. So we create a Java project. For this, let me click on this new project button. And let me quickly create a project. So let me give the project name like employee service. Okay. So the project will be stored in this D project directory. If you want to change your directory, you can browse the directory wherever you want to store your project. Okay. So then this is a Java project. So language is Java. Then build system is IntelliJ. Then JDK, whatever JDK you have installed, you can choose that JDK or you can also download the JDK if you don't have any JDK. Okay. So that's it. Then I don't want to add any simple code to this project. Then I'll leave it as is. Then in the advanced setting, okay, this is the module name, employee service, and this is the content root, and the, this is the location, file location where my project will be created. Clear? So let me quickly click on this create button to create my employee service project. So let me maximize this idea. Okay, cool. So my employee service project is created. Okay, this is a simple Java project, nothing else. So here in the SRC, you can see the SRC folder. So in the SRC folder, we can create our packages and we can add our class. Okay, so let me create a package inside this SRC folder. So new, let me click here package. Let's say I am giving the package name like com.hub.employee. So this is my package name. Okay, so inside this package, I will create a class. Let's say employee class I am creating employee. Okay, then I'll add some parameter to this employee class that is private integer ID in private string name then private string email. Okay, so this three field I want to add in my employee class. So I want to create the getter setter and the constructor for this employee class. But I don't want to create the getter setter and the constructor like this. Right click, then generate getter and setters. You can see getter and setter, then you have the constructor to string method. I want to use the project lumbar jar. To create the getter setter, like at the rate data annotation of the project number, then at the rate no R constructor, at the rate all R constructor of the lumbar dependency. But this is a simple Java project, so we need to add the dependency lumbar dependency accordingly. For that, we need to download the project lumbar jar file and store it in our local system. Then we can add it to my this project employee service. Clear? So how we can add external jar to our Java project in IntelliJ? So we can do like this, just mark, this is important. Click on file, then click on project structure, then click on modules. So here in the project settings, you have the modules. In the modules, you can see a add icon is here, you can mark. So click on plus icon, then you have the option like jars or directories, library, module dependencies. So we will select this jar or directories. So what jar I want to add? I want to add the project lumbar jar file. Okay. So that I can create the getter and setters and no R constructor, all R constructor by using the project lumbar annotation. Clear? So for this, I have already downloaded the project lumbar jar. So here, if you mark in the downloads, I have the jars. So I have downloaded this jar file, lumbar jar. Okay. So how you can download this? Just simply go to the browser and search for lumbar jar. Okay. Lumbar jar download. You can search. Click here and you can 
download the project lumbar jar clear you can click here to download your project lumbar jar and you can store it in your local directory wherever you want to store then you can add it as external jar to your java project let me go back again and show you how you can add the external jar click on file project structure then modules in the modules you have the add icon is here click on here then jars or directories okay so i have downloaded the jars in c then users inside this lipsa i have the download folder download then jars inside this jars i have the lumbak jar so i can add this lumbak jar click here okay you can see lumbak jar is added over here if you want to delete if you have by mistake add some other jar then you can also delete that one so how you can delete just right click here tick on this one right click and remove okay but i don't want to remove it i want to keep this jar here and apply then okay clear so if you expand this external libraries you can see now the lumbak jar is added to your class path okay so in this employee service class path lumbak jar is added so now i can use at the rate data annotation okay and at the rate no var constructor and at the rate all our constructor clear so now my employee class is ready getter and setter is ready is at the rate data or nothing but we provide us the getter and setter two string methods all those things okay and the no var constructor it will create the no var constructor and all our constructor create a constructor with all these parameters id name and email okay my employee class is ready now so what else now i want to create a employee service and we will create some list of employees and con convert that employee list to json object okay and print that one so that is our job so now i click here in the package and i'll create another class that is employee service okay that is my employee service so let me create the employee service inside this employee service i'll create a main method okay i'll create a main method then i'll fill the list of employee okay so this is my employee list private static list of employee build employee list okay so i have created a employee list arrays as list let me import this one okay this is my employee list and i return this employee list so now i want to convert this employee list to a json array okay so how i can do this so there is an option you might have heard so by using the object mapper of axter xml okay so by using the object mapper dot write value as string we can convert the java object to json string okay so for this we need the faster xml jar again we need to add that jar to our employee service like we did for lumbak jar clear so let me show you that one so again we will go to file then project structure then modules then click here add modules here we have the jars and directories click here jar or directories again we have the jar downloaded inside my c users lipsa then download under downloads i have the jars so for this i need this jars com dot faster xml jackson data bind then faster xml jackson core and annotation okay so i'll add one by one and show you so com faxer xml jackson data bind jar so let me add this one first apply and okay then i'll add the other one i'll show you so now what i'll do i'll just call this method list of employee okay let's say emp list then build employee list so i'll just call this employee list inside my main method now what else so i need to convert this employee list to json object so by using object mapper of faster xml jackson data bind okay so object mapper mapper is equal to new object mapper so i create the object for object mapper then i will use mapper dot write value as string write 
value as string so it will convert this java object to what json object let me pass this employee list then let me assign it to a variable this is string json object okay i am giving like this then i will put this out to print this json object clear so far json object okay so okay semicolon is missing this value is also missing okay fine so now let me run this one let me run this one right click run employee service dot main let me run this main method let's see we are getting so lumba requires enable annotation processor okay let me enable annotation processor for this id intellij id okay so now it is enabled so see here we are getting error now can't access com.pakstorxml jackson core version class file for this one not found okay so along with jackson data bind we also need that jackson core dependency Again, we need to add that chat. So let me go to here file. Then what? Project structure modules. Then add dependencies. Jar our dependencies. Then inside C. Again, we need to do the same exercise. Wherever we kept our jar, we need to find it out. Then add to this project. So it is inside my downloads. Jars com dot xml code jar clear. So let me click here apply and okay. Okay, now you can see after adding this Jackson code, it will throw us like unhandled exception. So we need to add the exception. So let me add the exception through JSON processing exception. So let me save it and again let me run this main method. Run employee service dot main. Let's see what happens. Okay, now see the issue now. What happens? Exception in thread main Java dot lang no class found definition error. No class def found error. Come faster Excel Jackson annotation. Now faster XML annotation Jackson annotation. What annotation jar is required? So we need to add that jar as well to this project. Again, we need to do the same things: file, project structure, then modules, dependencies, then we click here. What click here to add dependencies? Jar our dependencies. Go to your download folder where we have downloaded our jars. Okay, so inside C, users, Lipsa, downloads, jars, com.faster XML, Jackson, Jackson annotation jar need to be added. Click here, okay, then apply, okay. Okay, now let's run this one. Okay, so now our application is working perfectly fine, and in the console you can see the JSON array is written over here. Okay, so that is converted our employee list object to JSON object. Clear? So, how many times we have added the external jar by using this one? I mean, we have a Java project and we are adding the required external jar to this project. First of all, we need to download all the required jars in our local directory. Then, by using this file, project structure, then modules, then again dependencies, and after dependency, we need to click here in the plus icon, then jars or direction. So we need to do this exercise as long as we need the required jar to be added in our project, isn't it? So it is a tedious task. Okay. So in this video, we will learn how we can add the external jars to a Java project. So in my next video, to get rid of this problem, I mean to add the external jars again and again to the Java project. So 
we have a solution for it right we can convert this java project to maven project okay and in the maven you know we have the perm.xml where we can add all the required dependencies and that will automatically download the required dependencies from the maven central repository to our local repository okay and it makes our life easier to work with the dependencies clear so i'll tell you how we can do that how we can convert this java project to maven project and deal with the dependencies in my next video till then i, I hope you understand how we can add external jars to our java project in intellij idea so see you in my next video till then thanks for watching thank you